I think the best part of a good song is that it's a melody you haven't heard or words expressed in a way that you've, you've never thought that way before. And comedy, of course, it's the punchline. There's this setup and you think you know what's coming and now there's a surprise at the end. And both of those are the very essence of science where you think you understand how things work. And then Einstein comes along and says, nope, that isn't how things work. Uh, e actually equals mc squared, which intuitively, it, it's bizarre that if you go faster, it begins to affect the fabric of time itself. But uh, to me, all three are very much related. It's the calm of the reality that you sort of limited, uh, in, in a limited way understand, exploded at the end by the surprise of music, comedy, or, um, or science itself. I think people are excited by the edge of what they don't understand. You know, what's around this corner? It's why we go into haunted houses. You know, when we go to a, a theme park somewhere, what's going to surprise me? What's going to boom, suddenly jump out at you? And the rest of the universe is like that. To stare up into the night sky is to stare into the ultimate unknown haunted house of ideas that, uh, because of the darkness and the distance, are obscured from us. Shepherds for 10,000 years have been looking up into the night sky. And Galileo, with his first telescope, started to actually be able to peer with detail into that night sky. And it's, it's almost like, uh, like turning over rocks of discovery as we look further and further out. And so for young people, to me, it's just the, uh, the unending open door of adventure to be able to start exploring the rest of space. But not just by looking up, not just looking through a telescope, but now actually going there to be a person, not in a comic book, not in a, in a Arthur C. Clarke movie, Stanley Kubrick movie, but actually leave the earth and, and travel to space and be weightless and walk on the moon and, and with all of the, the portent of even further right now. It, it's a pretty uh, unendingly open room for adventure, but plus it's actually happening around us right now. And I think that combination is, is uh, pretty intoxicating. There is nothing sacred about science. Science is just organized curiosity. It's just a way of, of taking that childlike wonder and convincing your little brother to, to put his tongue on a really cold flagpole and have it freeze there. It's just, how does that happen? Why do things behave the way they do? Let's try and understand the underlying principles for everything else. I don't think Einstein would have considered himself a particularly serious or boring person. He found the whole thing ridiculous and joyful and funny and amazing and more than he could comprehend. And what could be better than an evening of joy and, and uh, shared miscomprehension of, of the world um, and to celebrate it? Life and science and art and comedy and music should be entertaining. They, they push us to the limit of our ability to predict and understand what's going to happen. And to be able to get up on stage, whether it's on television or on Twitter or on the historic platform of Royal Albert Hall, to me, that, that's just a wonderful place to get up and really talk about and share those ideas. Greatly looking forward to it.